next step was getting my 501c. All right, everything just seemed to go so smoothly. And then I talked to this man, and I was asking him about it. And he said, oh, you know, 501c is very difficult for nonprofit organizations to get, da 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 He said, so I don't know, if, you know, the success you're going to have in getting that. We've been a ministry for about five years, and we don't have ours, and da da I said, oh, I said, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll pray for you. I said, because we got ours the first year. And he looked at me like, it's not. <laughs> But you know, God had already worked it out. He was just waiting for me to get on board. He was just waiting for me to get on the same road that he was on. And sometimes, lady, when we are over on this side of the road, and God is over here, he's waiting for you, you're not waiting for him. It was just like Paul on the Damascus road. He wasn't waiting for God to do anything. God had to get him in a position where he didn't have anyone around where he could use him and where he could listen to what God had to say. So are you listening today? We've been fed so much spiritual food. And we've had such good praise and worship. And I feel that the Spirit of the Lord has been hovering in this place. So there's no need for anybody to leave here today the same way you came. There is no excuse for going out that door with the same shackles on your feet that you came in here with them on. There is no need to go in here, out of here today with your mind confused, but it should be renewed and you should be transformed. And it's okay if it's only one area. That's a step forward. Some are going to leave here more transformed than others, but don't compare yourself. I said you were unique. I said you're an individual. And where God is taking you, maybe she's already been. But don't ever think that your circumstance is unique. I said you are unique, not your circumstance. So be willing to share your trials and tribulations with each other. That's one of the main reasons I wrote my two books. But God is so good, he gave me bag lady first because I had to be delivered from all the baggage. All the stuff that I, I allowed Satan to give me and I took ownership of. You see, again, as women, we're quick to take ownership of stuff that doesn't belong to us. Not that we're stealing it, but somebody gives it to you and you say, oh, okay, if you say so. Okay, if you think I need this. Okay, if you want me to have this. But everything people want you to have is not good for you. Every time somebody wants to bless you with something, you need to check that out with the Lord, too. To make sure that that blessing is of God through their hands. Make sure that what God has for you is for you. And don't try to get everything that Joan has. Don't try to be who Joan is. You don't even want to walk, talk, or dress like Joan, perhaps. Because maybe that doesn't describe your character. Because our world puts labels on everything. So the label that you may have allowed someone to put on you doesn't describe your character at all. Because if you're a strong woman of God and somebody has labeled you on your job as being weak and complacent and you said, okay, that's not who you are. And that's not who you want to be known as. You want to be known as a strong, powerful woman of God who exerts the power and authority of God that he has given her. You just want to channel it in the direction that he wants you to and be obedient to the Spirit. So now again, I want you to just think about these words as I read them and focus on who is that lady sharing the love of Christ. And again, we've heard from Proverbs. When I heard that this morning, I said, okay, Lord, I'm on the right track. Then I heard it again this afternoon. I'm like, you go, God. Because it's a part of what he's given me to share. But now, I'm not going to share the entire scripture. I'm only going to share what the Holy Spirit had me to type as I was typing. It says she gets up early while it is still dark. She provides food for her family. She sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her task. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat bread of idleness. 
Her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive, deceptive, and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. I'm going to read that again. A woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her the reward she has earned. And let her works bring her praise at the city gate. Who is that woman sharing the love of Christ? A woman of noble character. A woman who fears the Lord. God bless you.